Hi! Today we are doing a little sesh review and a life update. Reefers. We will be smoking on some crisp LA Push Pop flour. This is their tier one flour and let's just open it together like usual. You see that? The focus was great. Get this. Beauty. She's beauty. She's great. She's Miss Ellie. And I'm gonna take a little nugget out of here. But let's do a little life update. Let's see what's going on in the world of me. In case anybody cares. Do you care? Well, here you go. Hi guys. Um, in case you forgot, my name is Shauna and I'm a nomad. And I live in my school bus. My brat school bus with my boyfriend and my dog and my kitten. And I currently live in the Gulf of Mexico and I work camp. Work camping is where you basically, you stay here for free, uh, like free rent, free like hookup and like cable, whatever. And it's all free and it comes included and I get paid to work here however many hours. I think I'm at 32 right now. And yeah, my rent's paid for. It was supposed to be from May to September, but now we are staying officially until at least January. And that is where I'm at right now. I work as a housekeeper at a campground and I basically have three days a week off. And I also do YouTube and Instagram and TikTok, all of that jazz. I'm a little canvas creator as well as I model on the side and I model with my boyfriend as well occasionally. So that's where I'm at right now. Now that we uh, know each other a little bit better, this is my life update. So basically we started the school bus in 2020 and it was really hard because we were broke at the time and we thought we had more money than we did, whatever. So we didn't end up finishing the bus until this time, like, no, until like November of last year. So. The reason why we're in Florida is because my parents live here and they wanted us to come down here to a better climate to finish building out the bus. So we ended up living with them and had the bus in storage and would work on it every weekend, whatever, um, every day actually. And then um, eventually when it was finished, we moved to Perry, Florida, where we were at another campground and it was our first winter in the school bus. So it was a pretty interesting experience but i definitely did have a lot of issues with depression and everything so it was definitely crazy but pause right there let's see how this grinded up i love it let's pack it up i'm going to use this piece from uh daily high club but yes so after i moved from perry we went to ocala florida and we lived on a horse farm and it was beautiful and perfect and it was super healing and actually everything that we needed um but then funds ended up getting a little bit tight so we ended up finding a work camping opportunity um in the gulf of mexico and that is why we are here now where we are and it is august and we've been here since march no may may we've been here since may and we've just been working full time, uh, living on the school bus in the Gulf of Mexico. We've met a lot of friends and been having a lot of fun times, honestly. So where my life update comes in is that we were not supposed to stay here. Here is the official strain review of LA Push Puff. Um, oh, I didn't even look up what I was smoking. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I always do this. You guys always see me pull out my phone. Oh my gosh, so I actually just sliced my finger on my metal wall. Anyways. 
So Ellie Push Pop is, it's a sugary milky candy with icy, ooh, orange buds. Ooh, sounds good. Ooh, this sounds good. Cookies and cream and Temple Flow. And we're looking at a peppery grapefruit pear taste. Interesting. Good with cramps, it says. I need one that's good with cramps. All right. Cheers, my friends, with this LA Push Pop by Crisp. You definitely taste that fruity flavor in there. I do like that. But back to what I was saying. So we weren't supposed to stay here. So our plan originally was to come here and work camp for the summer and make enough money to buy land. And we were going to head to Colorado um, in September or October and we were going to start looking for our land and work camp there. Um, <coughs> but we ended up loving it here. Our boss loves us, so we're going to stay, but she also runs a campground in Colorado, so she's going to get us a work camp position in the springtime. And that way we'll have more time to save, <coughs> more time to look. Um, also, we're also taking a road trip in my car to Connecticut. Um, in September so we have time to do that we're gonna go to Connecticut go back home and visit our family and everything but the only downside is, is the other day um, my car just stopped turning on so we had to leave it in the Walmart parking lot overnight and then now it's here because we towed it home but we gotta figure that out but then I'm also going to Tampa at the end of August this month so I have a lot of stuff to do before we actually hit the road officially to Colorado visit our friends in Kansas on the way and just kind of live life, I guess. But I guess the fact that this happened with the car was just kind of a sign that we needed to continue doing what we were doing and like slow down, so. This piece hits hard, but in a good way. I feel like I always say that. So I can't say that flower makes me extremely lethargic. I am so tired right now. But yeah, basically, my life consists of cleaning every day all these cabins and the bathrooms and fun stuff. And I love the people here. They're so great. Like, oh, they're wonderful. And then it also consists of the beach and the pier and uh, road trips and cookie. I don't know. We just do so much fun stuff because we're here. Florida has a lot of stuff, and I've never been to this side of Florida, so it's pretty interesting. I'm close to literally so many fun things, like right on a little panhandle, so cutesy. But on top of working as the housekeeper I am, I also, you know, do YouTube and Instagram and TikTok, like I said, and I've been getting a lot of fun opportunities and brand deals and collaborations, so that's really great. It's kind of like I put modeling on a pause for a little while but not purposely. So if you want me to model for you, hit me up. Have my people call you. I don't have people, but, um, so I kind of put everything on pause for a bit, but I'm making a decent, a decent, a decent buck doing this housekeeping and this cannabis stuff. I just love it so much. It's so great. So like future plans would be probably after my birthday, leave here. That's like January. And then after we leave here, we want to head to Kansas and finally see our friends that we miss so much. Lauren and Sarah, we love you. Kisses, I want to see you so bad. Um, Austin and Asia, we want to see you. I miss my friend Julia, I want to go see her. Um, I'm not taking the bus there to Hawaii, but my friend Autumn, like I, there's just so many people that I'm like missing really heavily right now and I, just want to be able to get onto the road finally and everyone's like oh it's been taking you so long it's like yes we're broke um i would love to live on the road and go and live in national parks all the time but i don't have national park money right now so as long as i start as long as i save up you know finally get my land my homestead have a place to go i will be going at so many more places because i will have a home base to leave all of my crap that is just bombarding this bus because everything that i've ever had from my apartment 
and my childhood home is in this bus. So it's time to space it out. <clears throat> and honestly, I'm just so excited. So we have so many plans. We want to go to We just have so many plans, honestly, and I can't wait for them. But yeah, right now, it's like we kind of just switched focus, so our focus was to like, oh, like live on the road and like have a good time and go here, 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 and here, but now our primary focus, I think, is to get some land for a home base where we can leave everything and then start our travel journeys. And with it being a little bit of an off season for the campground that we work at, um, it's a good time to like take time off. We can fly and go see stuff. You know, it's just it's all gonna work out. But these notes are wonderful, very fruity, very flavorful, also a little peppery. Um, <laughs> that being said, I'm really high, so you should be too. Bye!